Kendra, we'll start with you. And we again mentioned we had that storm come through Greenwood County. We're seeing those uh, power outages near Lake Greenwood on Highway 702. Yeah, and that same storm now pressing into Lawrence County, Spartanburg and Union, all <laughs> under severe thunderstorm warnings because of that line. And you can really see it. Um, through uh, northern Lawrence County. So this is really the worst of it right up along I-26. Uh, you can see it's moving in on Ennery Fountain Inn here shortly. We'll be pushing into Union and inside the severe thunderstorm warning we have Cross Keys, Ennery, and that's all going to include southern part of Spartanburg County as well as areas just to the south and west of Union. Putting a fresh storm track on this, this takes it into Ennery, Whitmire, Union by 421 and Pauline. This line is packing strong wind, but we're not seeing tornado potential yet with this line, but that can't be ruled out as we move forward. We're in an environment that could support a quick spin up tornado thanks to the circulation from Ida. You can see the heavy rain pushing into Greenville right now, Simpsonville, Fountain Inn, and we'll continue to see that make its way into Spartanburg. And then we also have some heavy downpours in the mountains. This is what is so worrisome for those areas that are still cleaning up from the flooding that we had two weeks ago. Now the good news is the severe weather risk has remained on the lower end as in especially the risk of tornadoes. Uh, there was a slight risk of level two over Atlanta. Now that has really gone down, uh, but there is still a low end risk for a quick spin up and we'll be watching closely for that. And you probably notice the breeze as the center of circulation gets a little bit closer. It's turning pretty breezy out there. 21 mile per hour wind in Lawrence, 15 in Greenville and 17 in Anderson. Other than severe weather, our other concern is going to be for that flash flooding. Uh, as we go into tonight, the rain continues, and we'll take a look at that coming up. In the northern upstate, uh, we're going to be seeing uh, that potential mainly for northern Greenville County, Pickens, Oconee, and Stevens County in northeast Georgia. Now I want to pitch it over to meteorologist Bob Trihe for a look at the timing for all of this, because we're not done. Once this line pushes through, we've got more to watch as we go into the overnight hours that could lead to some flooding. Oh, that's right. Kendra, we're looking at the tentacles, the arms of Ida. We have the center of it across Tennessee, of course, but we're seeing those arms extending farther to the south and east. We're seeing those bands coming through the upstate. So let's time out the storms and the intensity at 5 p.m. We're thinking about scattered showers and thunderstorms across the upstate and the mountains with heavy rain and that possibility of an isolated tornado that also continues until 8 o'clock. But then I think after that, our risk goes down. By midnight, we're looking and isolated chances of showers and storms. And that's also the case as we go into the 4 a.m. hour. Now, what I want to do is look at one of our high res models. This one's called the HRRR, and we have its low spinning back to our west right now. And what's going to happen? We continue with the southerly flow. We had the one band of precipitation now moving through, and here comes the other one through western North Carolina into the upstate. And that starts to move to the east, but it loses its punch a little bit because it's nighttime and more of that energy is across the center with Ida. And as we go through the overnight into tomorrow morning, still showers and thunderstorms, and we will see some gusty winds as well. And they're going to start to shift out of the west and southwest as, as the center of Ida starts to move away. But I don't think we're done with the precipitation quite yet tomorrow because we're going to see another push, a stronger cold front, push some more showers and storms through the upstate, and then we're done with it. Then we'll be looking at a cooler air mass building in a fall like air mass by Thursday just in time as we see September arriving on into Wednesday morning. So here's your evening planner. Showers and thunderstorms numerous across the area. Watch out for local flooding. Isolated tornadoes 78 at 6 by 875 by 10 around 72. And for the mountains, heavier rain for you than increased flooding risk. You've heard the saying turn around, don't drown. 73 at 6 to 70 at 8 and then by 10, 68 degrees. So if you don't have to travel, just kind of hunker down and stay put for a little while.